Hey! So, no new regular video this week still, unfortunately. Uh, it's been a hell of a hectic academic season, um, if I do say so myself. But, with some time in my hands, I figured I might as well do something special tonight. So, there's been actually quite a few videos that were in the pipeline, but were unfortunately sidelined. It's not really that interesting. What is interesting though is this project right here, which I have been uh, exploring on and off. Uh, it's been basically in the works for the few, the past few months or so, or maybe not in the works, but more on the uh, exploration stage, right? I've been reading a lot about um, how to do this, which is turning an old laptop into a NAS, a network attached storage server. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be taking ahead and uh, disassembling this laptop. Uh, thankfully, this one already has like a pretty beat up back panel, so we don't actually have to disassemble a whole lot. But, anyways, um, so the rationale behind this is that obviously you wouldn't do this to like a brand new laptop because it would just be a waste of money you just rather buy a pc that you would configure for nas use or uh buy one of those like specialized kits from uh the nas manufacturers right like synology for example what you will be using something like this for is for an old laptop that ha no longer has any daily driver use because you've upgraded or something and that is just sitting around collecting dust but that you don't want to be going into eway so that's the use case that we'll be trying to demonstrate here today so in this is actually an old laptop this is my dad's laptop this is a core i3 7020u so this is the same cpu that my mom's laptop has and still actually has you're still using it it's still a usable cpu even in 2025 for more basic office use like it's fine right so what we'll be doing here today is as you can see there's no hard drive in here and there's not even an nvme storage in here is that we will be putting all of that stuff in here that is required for a nas right so first up oh. Uh, this is the box for the WD SN550. Uh, it no longer has that uh, anymore. And instead, this is the home of my old drive because my SN550 has migrated again from my old laptop, which is in use with my sister, to this desktop PC because quite frankly, that laptop doesn't need uh, that fast of storage, at least for what my sister uses that laptop for. Whereas this, I can actually utilize that as like a scratch disk of sorts for my video projects. This will come in as our boot device. This still has the original install of Windows on it that was on my laptop. Since we're missing a screw here, we're just gonna take some, take some from the, uh, laptop itself which this thing only has like what it needs so that's annoying uh, there's not really that much extra here you know what i'm gonna pull this one out this is on the far end hopefully uh that's not needed for like power or something with the way that macbooks use uh, screws, or maybe not MacBooks, I think it was the iMac that used screws for power connections, uh, I wouldn't be very much surprised. Uh, but it is quite rare for these kind of devices because PCBs are just a hell of a lot cheaper anyways. So that's in. Uh, one thing I'll be doing here as well is, since this is going to be plugged in basically all the time, I will be removing the uh, plugs for the battery just so this doesn't swell and give us a super bad time and now I'm actually going to need a hard drive one moment please so 
Uh, this, by the way, is not the same uh, two and a half inch hard drive enclosure that was in an old, old video. I believe it was a 2022 video. Uh, but yeah, this isn't the same thing as that. This is the upgraded version with Type-C, which is something I've been looking for for years at this point because USB 3 micro B is a pain in the ass to use. So there it is. This is... Alright, there we go. This is not the hard drive that was in that video as well. This is my laptop's old hard drive. This is... A Seagate one terabyte 5400 RPM drive that has been the resting place of pretty much the vast majority of my video projects as well as academic projects and projects for uh, publication work all that kind of stuff it's all in here this is all of my creative history since 2021 well maybe not all but most of it is stored in this tiny thing it is currently filled up to 850 terabytes so yeah that's one of the considerations actually when uh, I was thinking about how to set this up because while I could set this up with Linux uh, which is probably what many of those who are familiar with servers may be screaming at right now especially NAS servers uh, the fact that this thing is already full with data means that, oh, and I also don't have a spare drive with me, it means that I literally have nowhere to put this in interim while I format the thing. So in the future, hopefully I can migrate this to Linux, but right now it's more of a proof of concept than anything else. And of course, this proof of concept will require uh, the hard drive that literally stores my creative work. So. We're gonna. We're hoping that it doesn't touch that, uh, <laughs> or at least it doesn't uh, kill that. But, mm. For extra peace of mind, actually, I'll make it a little bit as well, just to save on weight as so. well. Right. The reason why I don't try to remove it because this thing is ridiculous. I'm gonna be very careful not to puncture that because that will be a really bad time. And it's out. I think. There's nothing stopping. Oh, yep. Alright. Oh. Hopefully, then that leaked out. Uh, I think it's fine. Uh, it's, I mean, this is a pretty big one. It's a 50 watt hour battery, which is what gave it actually a very long battery life by the fact of being really really old so i have to store this carefully because this is actually a big pack now this touchpad is going to be i'm sure it's fine ah you know what i'm not gonna be too bothered about that we'll see if it boots without the battery attached some laptops don't allow you to do that i'm not sure about acer because i haven't actually read up on their documentation about laptops uh or batteries rather all right Let's see if she smokes. Hopefully not. We have spec we have fan spin almost immediately. I think this thing was on sleep. Oh shoot. Alright. You can't see it. But uh actually you know what? Just this is a Linux terminal and the reason it has that is because I actually don't remember if this um, if this is because uh, there is still a partition on the hard drive which I deleted or if this is from the SSD I think it's from the SSD in which case uh, we're gonna have to solve this here one moment please Filming this without a tripod is gonna be very annoying. Also, the keyboard is broken, so I have to do this myself. FW setup. Oh. Alright. Let's see how she flies here. 
a there you go oh there it is all right this is actually exciting all right we're in so uh has it kept up the date at the time oh yeah no it kept up with the date and time as well no use hci for crying out loud and change for the priority f6 there you go windows boot manager exit saving changes save configuration and exit now all right what oh there it is all right that's the dual core at work <laughs> i guess and we're in i just reset the recording just because all right so i'm gonna be entering my password here there it is uh that scaling is wrong so what we need to do here to set up windows as a kind of like nas server is to go to let me check network settings first network and internet and then go to network and sharing center uh, set them both to private networks and then advanced sharing settings i turned off the firewall should be fine file and print sharing on all networks uh just turn it off and then yeah i think that's good enough all right we're in now to do this uh you go to the properties of the drive and then you select sharing and there you will see advanced sharing so in here i'm gonna share this folder we're gonna name this as the vault or data you know what to just call it the vault we're gonna call it the vault and then uh Permissions, everyone, full control. Uh, okay, all right. Then click apply, and okay. This is now, this is now shared to everyone in the network. All right. So we're in the laptop now. Whoop! That is my examination. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. So what we're going to do here is to try and find it over the network, uh, which is not this that's me so we're trying to be scanning here oh oh so that's why no my, my internet was not on <laughs> god damn it that's why all right i'm gonna wait around here because that was apparently my fault All right, there we go. Fantastic. All right, there it is. Now we can access the vault, actually. That's really convenient. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's all in here. I wonder how fast the access time is, though. We just have to figure out a way to use it on the phone. This one, I think. This is the one installed yesterday. All right. It's a small app, um, which is why it's installed very quickly. And we're using the local area network for now. What we really want, oh, right. what we really want to do is to be able to do this on, like, oh god, the focus of this thing, ridiculous. Um, would you like to review that? No. Okay, one that four. All right. Let's see if this lets us do it. Because last time, and by last time I mean last night when I was trying this out with the PC, this wasn't working. Alright, it works! To the vault. Alright. Let's see if we can play anything here, actually. Let's go uh, Premiere File, because that's where a lot of files are. So I think I can play any of these. I actually, I think I have a Novatech video on here. There you go, the VBook 14 review. It's a 2.5 gig file, though. You wouldn't think that Whoa, it works! Alright, that's cool. This is by the network 
and I'm seeing all right okay. so this is working over the network oh, over the local area network like we're we're streaming from this let's play another video to show that it's not a fluke uh, this one again all right okay so we're seeing throughput spikes uh, up in the range of 30 megabits per second right now that's over the network so I think we're good for that because I don't think it's using the uh, net the internet protocol that requires you to go online but I don't think we'll be seeing these kinds of speeds when we go to like our VLAN for now though hey over the network using this it's fine all right okay so all right, I'm gonna pause that phase one works but we still have to figure out a few a uh, few quirks with it okay so I think that's my cue here um, hello this is me editing this video a few days later actually almost a week later but anyways um, I cut out a lot of stuff in here that were related to the quote-unquote phase two of the video, which is using the laptop NAS server over the internet. And the reason that I did so is because there are a lot of stuff related to that, and I just wasn't able to get it consistently working in the week that I had between shooting this video and actually between me finishing this edit. So I thought about including it uh, which is why i discussed it a lot actually in depth in this video but in the end i wasn't able to get it completely stable and working over the network like over the internet so i guess that will just have to be a part two video if and when i'm able to actually explore a bit of stuff or if i have the need to do so because as of right now the purpose of this laptop NAS machine isn't actually to use it over the internet, you know. It's more about storing my files into a single uh, machine that is available to me 24-7 that isn't also over the cloud. So most of the time, I do a lot of my syncing of files over the network here in my house, in my home network. So it isn't really... Uh, that big of a concern to me whether or not it goes online or not and actually would be more of a security risk if it does. So I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to be cutting out this part and uh, yeah, we'll see if there's a part two, I guess, because it is really interesting. It's just not within the scope of this video. So let's, uh, let's do that, shall we? And Play that again. I'm gonna do some more work in that but this is basically it for now thank you so much for watching this and uh, this has been long see ya when I get a video at some point that's actually like good